She was seven. I'm back and I have another video request. <laughs> this video request is how to make a man jealous. Like if you have a crush on a guy and you want him to notice you um, or you're with a guy and you break up and you want to make him jealous to get him back. Y'all know the games. Okay, so this is how you make men jealous. It, totally ignore them move on even if it's just a fake person that you're moving on with it's because you know why i'm gonna tell y'all as soon as a man thinks that he doesn't have you anymore or that you're interested in him anymore and interested in another man this messes with his ego like and then he'll start showing you more interest okay uh totally ignore his calls um send it straight to voicemail post you and yourself up with some other guy on Facebook talking about how this is your new friend um, and you know that that's the worst thing that can mess with a guy is seeing you with another man okay and I know women are saying well um, if he sees me with another man won't he think that no because this is one thing about men. They put women on pedestals. And until they see you actually in the act or you admit that you've done something with this person, they're never going to believe it. You can tell them anything. You can tell them, you know, I, I, I was thinking about it, but he just wasn't you. All you got to do is stroke their ego and they'll listen to that because that's what they want. Okay. So as long as you let, you know, the jealous guy know later on down the line when you get him back that that was just your friend and you thought about dating him but you weren't sure you just wanted to hang out you know he's gonna accept that because in his mind it's so hard to see a woman that he has been with or he likes with another man it just is I don't know why but it just is okay um, <clears throat> So you want to keep it so that they think that you have never done anything with this man sexually or anything. You, you keep that in his mind. And don't, don't say it too much because then it sounds like a lie. Just say it one time, casually, if he asks. And don't mention it anymore. Because if you're trying to sell it too hard, it's going to sound fake. Okay, Just say it one time. And if he mentions it again, well, were you with that guy? Were you sleeping with him? And laugh. It's like, why? Are you jealous? Oh my God, you're jealous. You know, make fun of that. And then he'll he'll get off the subject. So, replace. This is how you, because most guys, they don't realize the whole relationship is over. Or they don't realize that, you know, the person that was crushing on them is gone until they have moved on to another person. Then they realize, hey, it's not about me anymore. It's not about me anymore. Oh my gosh. You know, guys don't wake up until it's too late. So this is why women always have that go-to guy, that backup guy, that in-between guy, that rebound guy. But ladies, make sure the guy knows he's the rebound guy, okay? You know, he can even be gay but look straight. Just make sure he knows what you're doing because, you know, it's not fair to him and even if you tell him, look, I'm not trying to date seriously right now. I just got in a relationship, so this is not going to be anything super serious unless I feel like we can take it to the next level. So you can basically just use this guy, because he'll let you, <laughs> to make the other man that you really want jealous. doesn't matter how good or ugly he looks. It's the fact that he has your attention and now has what this other guy has had before. 
and it's hard for men to let go of women and also always look good always smell good always look feminine act feminine because men know this is what guys go after okay if you're loud and obnoxious and blah, 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 they're gonna be glad to get rid of you but if you're sweet and calm and kind and like oh you know I, I you know I was out the other day and you know, I met a really nice guy. Put this on Facebook. I met a really nice guy, and I think, you know, he could be something that, you know, can turn into something more serious. Don't say he could be the one. Never say he's the one because the other guy thinks he's the one, okay? Or say he might can turn into something serious. And then, like, you know, always have, always smell good. You gotta smell good. Look, get you some nice perfume, or it doesn't even have to be expensive, just something that smells decent. Spray. I'm gonna use. I'm, I'm wearing my. I'm gonna wear my Coco Chanel today. I'm, I'm feeling like Coco Chanel kind of day, and I'm almost out of this. But make sure you put some nice perfume on. Keep yourself made up. Keep your hair done, because if a guy thinks that you are out looking for new guys, out looking pretty, smelling good, you know, attracting men to you, they're gonna either a try to get you back before somebody else takes you. Or try to get you back after they think you've already been taken because now you become a challenge again now the challenge is to take you from the guy okay and when it comes down to it you need to you need to tell them you know well this guy really likes me and he wants to introduce me to his parents and this guy wants to take me here and this guy wants to take me there you know this is the time to get your man to, to step up to the things that you really want him to do like oh well you want to meet my parents oh well you want to go here I can take you here you know they'll be trying to outdo the guy you know well this guy you know he he's supposed to be taking off next weekend so we can do this you know and the guy's gonna be like well tell him to cancel it you know he's gonna now he's gonna be the man that he should have been because this man is okay if he really wants you just like the song, the Bruno Mars song. I should have brought you flowers. <laughs> See, he never knew until it was too late. And this is how it happens to all men. They never, they never really understand what they have until it's gone. This is just how men are, believe me. I do readings. Every Most readings I do for men is about their girlfriend who they say is their girlfriend, but that girl has already moved on, lived with another man, but they're still claiming her as their girlfriend. It's it's crazy, this is how they think of you in your mind. Oh, my girlfriend, oh, does she live with you? No, she moved out, and she, she's with this other dude now, but then she's not your girlfriend. Well, how do I get her back? Stupid idiot. <laughs> you can't get her back, she's moved on. Well, is he the one? Am I gonna have another chance? How can I break them? You know, it's. This is, this is how you gotta think. So ladies, when you break up with your boyfriend, you want him to be jealous, you, or there's a crush, um, or some guy you like, you want him to be jealous, ignore him, move on to someone in his plain sight, okay? They don't have to be serious, because we all know men learn too late. They always want a day late and a dollar short. So y'all gotta give them that, if you really want them back, you gotta give them that fake rebound guy who who they think is gonna be your next man, okay? But this is really just to see what he's gonna to do to get you back, okay? I know a lot of people don't like playing games, but seriously, nine out of 10 guys will try to get their girl back after they're with another man, okay? And they will step up their game, okay? Because the girl is gonna be like, well, I'll break up with my new man when you get this. Well, I'll break up with my new man and get back with you when you get this and do that and establish yourself and do this. I'm not leaving this good situation to go back to you. Are you serious? And if they really want you, they will step up. If they don't, they'll just go find somebody in their own league who don't expect anything out of them, you know? And you'll always be the one that got away. And that's the one to be, always be the one to get away. Okay, so y'all remember, this is what I do a lot of readings, the ladies, y'all are always trying to jump into another relationship real quick see if this is going to lead anywhere because you do want to make your man jealous and you don't really know what you want so your life is not you know like going to plan so you have to make the plan okay make a plan this is rebound guy rebound guy is for dates rebound guy is for having fun rebound guy is for making girl uh boyfriend jealous okay he is not 
supposed to meet the family. He's not supposed to meet kids if you got kids. You're not supposed to do none of that because if you let him in too close, the other guy is going to be uh, upset and hold it against you during the relationship. You need to keep rebound guy at a distance, but in the picture enough for your guy to feel threatened. Okay? Believe me, I do. I've done this uh, when I was younger, and it works. Um, and not to say that I wanted the guy back, because the best part about getting the guy back is getting to dump them over. Okay? <laughs> like, if you just want to get somebody back just to dump them and, and hurt them, this is also another way to do it. And I'm not saying it's good or bad to do that, but hey, some people deserve it. And y'all know it. Y'all know some people deserve this. Okay? So don't even act like you're all high, and mighty, and moral. <clears throat> That's another thing that gets in the way of a lot of relationships. Morals, you know. People expect people to live up to these high standards and these high morals. And when I say morals, I mean this is good and this is bad. That's bad and that's good. Well, when it comes to love and a war, all is fair. Okay? All is fair. You can lie, you can cheat, you can steal, you can do all of that. If you are trying to win a war or win a love, okay, there's no moral when it comes down to that, okay, and and <clears throat> I know a lot of people are gonna be like, well, what about marriage? Is it okay to mess with a married man? Is your married man falling for that bait? You need to talk to him, okay? And I know a lot of people are gonna be mad. But that's the world that you live in. You can be mad about it, but you can't deny that it's there, okay? So you always have to be the type of woman who knows the type of man that she is with. Is your man going to cheat? Is your husband going to cheat on you if he's given the opportunity? Or is he going to pass it down? Is he going to pass pass over? He's like, no, thanks. Know who you're with. Know what they'll do. Know how far you can trust them. People are married and don't even trust each other anymore. You know, they trust someone as far as they can see them. But, you know, sometimes it's that's just the way life is. And y'all have to start to accept this. There is no perfect love. There is sacrifice. There is give and take. There's, I want this, so I'm going to sacrifice that. I want money. I'm going to sacrifice looks. I want money. I'm going to get an older guy. I don't, I want love. So I'm going to date someone who's only going to love me because they're not in a position to love anybody else. When women think like that about men, oh, he's broke. He's not going to leave me for nobody else. Nobody's going to want him because he's broke. That's not true. Because what if he gets a good job? What if, you know, what if somebody gives him a lot of money and he leaves you for somebody else? What if he meets a woman with money? You know, you can't go for guys because they're broke down and out and you don't think that they're going to leave you. Those are the worst kind. Mm -mm. Those are the kind who are waiting and planning. No, I'm sorry, drop some to escape. They just tolerate you long enough. Okay, so don't make excuses for men. Men are supposed to be the chasers, the leaders. If you want to make one of them jealous, replace them right in their face. Let it be known. Put it on Facebook, social media. Embarrass them. You know, have someone see them out that's friends and say, "Hey, I saw your girl with somebody else." You know. Make them feel stupid for leaving you, basically. Because if you don't, you're just going to look like desperate stalker girl who's always trying to page, text, call them. I said page, y'all. Y'all know I grew up in the 90s, 80s. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, don't blow up their phone either. I said ignore them. Don't send them any pictures. Blow up your Facebook with this other guy, okay? And even if you have to make a fake account and be the other guy, I don't care. Just do it, okay? This is what you have to do. All right, and I'll see y'all later, and I know this is funny and, and uh, weird to make up another Facebook profile pretending to be a man, but y'all don't know this stuff works, okay? All right, bye.